Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Hearts of Iron 4 in our Germany campaign. Um, we're about to defeat the British Raj. Things are going pretty well, I would say. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, things are going pretty well. And we're going to finish up with the British Raj. We're going to destroy them. And we're preparing for an invasion of... The United Kingdom, they're trying to launch some invasions at me, but I think I'm going to actually be successful. Um, I think I'm actually going to be okay in invading the UK. We've already achieved naval um, and air supremacy over the channel. So, we'll be alright. These are tactical bombers. These guys are over... Have we bombed any buildings? Zero, zero buildings bombed. Wow. So I've been trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. I don't really have an answer yet. How many fighters do I have in surplus? I don't really have that many, actually. Apparently, there's 46 enemy ships in this fleet. Two carriers, three battle cruisers, two battleships, one heavy cruiser, four light cruisers, 23 destroyers, and 11 subs. We have some uh, close air support that are providing some pretty good supporting fire here. This, uh, the uh, the close air support are, are able to bomb quite a, quite effectively. Um, so that's nice. Let's see. We have naval visions of northern France and southern France and Portois, but we'll be okay. And I don't think they can achieve naval supremacy, to be honest. Uh, ooh, we just destroyed a battleship. Damn. That's good stuff. We can use more close air support. We can use more tactical bombers as well. That would come in handy. We need a lot of fighters. Um, I like having a lot of surplus fighters around. We're still battling them out. Uh, or battling with the English over the channel. Um, our losses have, have definitely... They're, they're lower than the enemies. Yeah, the enemies lost a lot of men fighting me. The Luftwaffe will reign supreme. Alrighty, we're about to finish this up. British Raj will soon surrender. Oh, yeah, they're going to capitulate. I think once we take their capital, Bombay. Almost, just about. Red Naval Battle results. Uh, what happened here? We lost some destroyers and some, some air support. Hmm. That's a shame. Let's keep these guys in port for a little while. It's, it's some better doctrine. It's February 1944. Um, we're preparing this naval invasion still. It's actually almost ready to launch. And Von Manstein is going to be launching this invasion. We don't have the ships though, I don't think, to guarantee um, that an invasion will work. I was thinking about paratroopers. That might come in handy. Cover troopers might be smart. How's the oil deficit? It's not really cleared up. Mm. Let's just get a crap ton of synthetics, and I need a lot of dockyards. British Raj just capitulated. Very nice. Let's finish up over here with these troops. Um, Japan is actually, it, it almost looks like they're losing against China. Yeah, they, they really don't want me to join. So, all right then, if that's what they say. Um, See, we need 5.3 thousand units of artillery, 1.7 thousand medium tanks, 737 close air support. We need a lot of naval bombers. Tactical bombers would come in handy. 
Let's secure what's left of this territory. I guess for now we will garrison a lot of this. I don't need really like the resources, but since there is a lot of manpower and stuff here, we'll garrison some of this. Um, might as well. There's not much else to do over here. Let's see, we're running some good battles. The enemy are losing a lot of subs, destroyers, battleships, submarines, convoys. Very nice, very nice. And we're ready to execute this plan. I don't think I will do so. Not yet. We actually just built our first heavy cruiser. Okay, so we've gotten most of our repairs done in the Empire. Um, a lot of naval dockyards are being constructed, so that's good. We do need oil before we really get ahead of ourselves anywhere. Let's go ahead and bump up these synthetics to the top of the list. Okay. So it's already March 1944. And, um... Hmm. How many ships does the Royal Navy have left? We've, we've been able to uh, to bomb them to, to hell. We can get some better fighters. Better fighters, strategic bombers, tactical bombers. Let's go for some better fighters for now. We've got some infantry, anti-tank. Marines and paratroopers may come in handy at some point. Let's get some better... Um, Close air support. I think we're getting the Junkers uh, 187 close air support. The enemy's still trying to launch these naval invasions and such. Um, let's let's take the risk and see if we can um, see if we can launch this naval invasion and see what happens. Pax Americana. Looks like we're already taking some losses. Looks like my convoys are being bombed. We are being escorted by... Um, oh, God. Actually, nope, never mind on that. We just lost those those troops. 51 convoys. Yeah, all those men are dead. <laughs> okay, we, least, we just lost 300,000 men. Or somewhere around that number. That sucks. Yeah, so we still need naval superiority. Is that what you're telling me? I think that's what they're telling me. So we still need naval superiority. Okay, so that sucks. Those losses, that sucks. Those were a lot of troops, but oh well. Um, I don't have a huge need for troops right now anyway. Let's just train up one line of all these guys. Hmm. We're still we're still doing pretty good against their enemy fighters and bombers and such. They have a lot of bombers here. They have a lot of close air support is what it looks like too. So it looks like they reserve they reserve planes for straight up naval invasions. Available planes in reserve. We have 2,000 enemy fighters in reserve? Holy shit. Do I have any air bases available? Not really. Hmm, let's send them to intercept here. So we have a lot of fighters. And then here we have a lot of fighters and bombers. A lot of fighters here, a lot of bombers here. Looks like the channel is almost completely clear. Absolutely everything. 
They put some, uh, looks like they put some fighters in Northern England. Hmm. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. We're destroying more of the Royal Navy every day. How's my construction going? It's going very well. Synthetics take some time to build. It's not bad though, since we have just so many, so many civilian factors, oh my god. We get some light cruisers, some destroyers. These guys need oil, for sure. We're not going to get very far without oil. Damn, these airspaces are all but clear. You know what we should look into is radar. Let's actually, before we do anything else, let's bump up this radar. Because the radar helps us with detecting and finding things out about the enemy. Let's see, so we're occupying the British Raj. Unrest is actually not bad at all. How's the unrest here? It's not bad. We don't have any unrest in northern France. Very, very good, very good. Alright, so yeah, we have time. Time's on our side. So is manpower, so is industry. It's all on our side. We're destroying more enemy ships every single day. Submarines, battleships, things that take years to produce. Oh my god. We destroyed them in a day. We lost 1.25 million men. Yep, yep, we did. We did, this is true. The United Kingdom, Canada, and the United States are the only people left to defeat. But still, getting troops on the mainland, that's going to be interesting. Hmm. Uh, what are these radar going to be done in June? June 1st, 1944. Not bad, not bad. I might even be able to reduce my conscription law. So I should be about 2 million men. 1.7 million, okay. It's a little low. It's not bad though. Right now we're not expending huge amounts of manpower anyway. do one line to go to the French occupation force. We're destroying more destroyers, submarines. Damn, we just destroyed a battle cruiser there. Submarines, a heavy cruiser there. Every single day, man, they just lose more and more planes. Holy shit. I mean, more and more ships every single day. Enemy ships bombed, enemy fighters lost. Our support lost, our fighters lost. That's here in the in the English Channel. Are we bombing their buildings? We are. How many fighters do we have? 2.8 thousand fighters. Okay, so let's take a look at... What I want to do is... Let's actually switch... Switch these over to tactical bombers. I think two lines will be okay. We'll keep the rest on fighters and we'll just keep pounding away at them. We have a lot of fighters in reserve. Uh, let's take a look at... Let's get rid of those naval bombers. We have more tactical bombers available. And we'll send them to go bomb over here. And so how's our research? Night vision, convoy interdiction, we got some more close air support and some better fighters. And nuclear reactors are, are halfway done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. And yeah, we're just bombing. We're just bombing so many planes and so many... I mean, we're just shooting down so many planes and, and bombing so many ships. They got nothing on us. Yeah, they have a hundred ships left. And I have seven, and I have a much larger capacity to build up ships than they do. This radar is going to come in handy. Already we have... significant radar efficiency here in most of this area.
I don't get why I keep getting called to arms from Japan. I don't get that. This is all that I own. Wow. Ooh. And what if we attack? What happens if we attack Australia? I wonder if that would be kind of cool. Hmm. Bomb some more stuff over there. What's the U.S. look like? 221 to 387 divisions. A lot of military factories. I think almost more than me. A lot of civilian too. They have a lot of airplanes and a lot of ships. Okay. We got towed artillery has been cleared up, motorized, support equipment's good, light tanks, medium tanks are in surplus, fighters are good, close air support's good, the naval bombers, we don't really need them, and the tactical bombers, we are doing okay. We actually also cleared up our oil problems. We have cleared up our oil problems. Um, the radar are going to come along nicely. Synthetics are being produced, things are being repaired, and the naval dockyards are coming along. Nice, 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 nice. Um, we just gotta be patient, you know? We gotta be, um... We gotta be patient. We completely control the skies. Absolutely, they got nothing. They got nothing on us. So maybe we can give this another try. Let's do a mere 11 divisions. Let's give them to Manstein. If he's still alive. Yes, he is. And let's see if we can invade. Um, I think we need convoys. Yeah, we do. need convoys for sure. We need to get some dockyards on that. Let's finish up with that radar. So, uh, because we're producing more radar, we can actually see what the enemy has here now. They've got quite a garrison. Hmm. About 40, 40, maybe 45, 50 divisions here. This is 28, 8, 36, 37, 30, 39. Plus another 20. So 59. Okay, so they got about maybe, maybe half to three quarters of a million here in uh, in the UK. It'd be a significant, significant battle. We have free military factories. I didn't even know that. Let's get some better... All right, let's get some more, um, yeah, tactical bombers would be okay. Let's get some more close air support. What do we need more of? We need aluminum. And my puppet actually still has more to give me. Damn, dude, free resources from your puppets. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. That's so cool. We raided some convoys here. They lost some light cruisers. Dude, we've completely destroyed the enemy fleet. Yeah, we've we've just they're gone. We have four heavy cruisers, seven destroyers, and two light cruisers. We might be able to guarantee naval superiority of the channel. Um this guy's invasion is gonna be good. Let's get some convoys. I need aluminum and oil now. Okay, so Vichy France does not have any more to give me. Hmm. Japan's still grinding away at China. I don't know how they haven't won, but they haven't, so. We can get some better land doctrine. We're actually not done with the backhand blow. 
guy's gonna be ready for this invasion. 11 divisions to land over there. Reserve convoys, invasion still preparing. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna give him some convoys. Eleven divisions up there. Holy shit! Yeah, they they were preparing something big over there. Twelve divisions are garrisoning Plymouth. My God. Well, that's not good. Let's see if we can change. Can we try something like that, maybe? I got 10 divisions there. Let's try something like that. We can get some troops on the shore and then just punch right for the port. Hmm. Let's go ahead and modify our production lines. So these are close air support twos. We can get them close air support threes. These are tactical bombers. Then these are fighters. These are fighters. Let's give them a new variant. Engine. Weapons. Liability. Agility plus 20, max speed or liabilities goes up. Let's do it. That's the uh, the TA 152A. The TA 152A. I like it. I like it. And then uh, we actually do have some air experience left over. We need more oil again. A lot of aluminum. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here, and uh, we will see how this wraps up in the next uh, couple episodes. I know it's it's kind of slow right now, but, you know, this is what we got to do is we got to wait. All right, guys, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.